Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere really building up nicely, we should be in for a terrific contest. It is Manchester City against Atletico Madrid. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. So the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Manuel Akanji plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Ilkay Gundogan plays alongside Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of midfield. And providing the main goal scoring threat today is Erling Haaland. And here are the starters for Atletico. Jan Oblak stands between the posts. Rodrigo de Paul starts alongside Koke in central midfield. And up front, Antoine Griezmann starts alongside Morata. And so the battle commences. Manuel Akanji. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Holland. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Well, Kevin De Bruyne, one of the complete midfield players in the modern game. Stuart, what do you expect we'll see from him this time around? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Can he find the right pass? Erling Haaland! And a goal! Not bad for starters! They take an early lead! Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. So on they go again. Let's find out if Atletico can square the match. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Gundogan. Bit wasteful from City. Griezmann. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Griezmann! Really good diving save. But he's gone short with it. Carrasco. Well, it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. Mares. Chance to cross.
Well, not the pass he had in mind. Poland and return to Mares. Oh, great defending. Morata. Carrasco. And now Lamar. Chance to finish. Well, the post getting in the way there. And they've done it. A goal for Atletico, who now are level. Well, just look at this. He's so bright in the box. He's first to the ball and then a decent finish. It's a good bit of play. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Hold on. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, as you can see, he's just placed that beyond the keeper. That's a very good finish. And with that, the first half draws to a close. And it really was a stunning first half performance by Erling Haaland. No two ways about that, Stuart. Well, it's been an incredible performance from him. Clearly the difference between the two sides. Obviously the goals, but his movement too. He's causing the back line all sorts of headaches. He'll no doubt be desperate to grab the hat-trick now. And the game... Into the second half then, and it's going to be fascinating to see whether or not Atletico can turn this game on its head. Thomas Lemar. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. Morata. Oh, surely! They just couldn't stay in front. And now, this match is all square. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. <laughs> so the ball is running again at 2 all. Jack Grealish. The ball with Rodri. Gundogan. Holland. On to De Bruyne. Rodri! And a goal this time. Applying the finishing touch. Just what the doctor ordered. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. Well, having conceded, let's find out if Atletico can come up with an articulate response. Hola. 
on to Grealish. Can he make it count? No way through. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. And played short. Rodri. Now with Silva. It's Bernardo Silva. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Now options are plenty. Must be. And the keeper showing tremendous command. A change in the offing for City. Who can they pick out? And a struggle to get it away properly. Bernardo Silva. Here's De Bruyne. Can he finish? Oh, a moment of pure class. Had to catch it perfectly. And didn't he just? Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Well, City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Yes, it's so true. For once, they find themselves in defensive mode. Really good high press. Carrasco! Spectacular save. Top-class goalkeeping. Well, the referee can't take any chances, and now he will receive attention. So following the injury, back underway again here. Manuel Akanji. On to Holland. Given away by City. Griezmann. On to Holland. Kevin De Bruyne. Manuel Akanji. Bernardo Silva. And there to intervene. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Options in the centre. And there goes the final whistle. It ends in defeat for Atletico Madrid, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. Well, as you can see, our cameras are lingering on Erling Haaland. Yet another exceptional performance to add to the growing list. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent. And scope for them to produce something.